And I say, I'm here with my daughter. We're having a great time. Spring break. 19, wait, 2019, not 1920. Does that work? It's so bright. Why are you looking in the sun? What a dumb idea. Hey. Right. Can I have hot dogs tonight or macaroni? Uh, Probably hot dogs because it was worse faster, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, we made it to our campsite. We're at Hot Well Dunes in Arizona. Got set up, got our fire going. We even have a creek running by right behind our fireplace right there. And over here is Gina. What do you think of this spot so far? It's pretty good. There's uh, garbage cans at every site. There's fire pits at every site. There's uh, actually uh, latrines centered in between some of the sites. So it's almost a full camping experience for $3. $3! $3 for one vehicle. That's it. Oh, and a hot spring. And there's jacuzzis. Not real jacuzzis. But we're going to do that in the morning. We're only here because I was watching a YouTuber, Slim Potato Head, and his A-liner. He told me about hidden gems in Arizona, which is upsetting to me because he's Canadian and he knows more about my state than I do. And I'm 40 years old. And I've never heard about this place or been here. So I had to come here. And so thank you, Slim, my metaphorical hat I've taken off. We'll go look at the uh, springs in the morning. Not really the springs. It was an accident. I read the sign. I took a picture of it. Right? And so I guess in 1929, they were digging for oil. And unfortunately, they found water. Uh, and for whatever reason, they built the, a little shed on top of the spring. Put solar panels on it. Put a, uh, solar pumps on it. So it pumps the water out. It comes out hot. And they made two little uh, containments that look like uh, spas or jacuzzis. And the water is warm. I didn't go inside because there was a lot of people in there. And, you know, it's never fun when somebody else, strangers are in a jacuzzi or a hot tub. So hopefully in the morning, it'll be better. Ooh, there's no one in that one. Ooh, we did it. It's so green. So there's a place right here. Now it's all windy. There's actually bathrooms right there. There's a the how everything works guy. Right there is a solar pump. This is it right here. There's another one in the shade down there. But the water just runs continuously. And so it's really nice from warm water right there. I bet in the morning it was all steamy and cool. Going in. By the way, I forgot to bring flip flops, so this was a bad idea. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, my feet are finally warm. This is actually really warm. It says 106. My, oh, oh my gosh. This is like the most wonderful thing in the world. Oh, I can't imagine this being very nice in the summertime, but wow. This is the greatest thing in the world. So here I am, relaxing, and it's, I don't know, probably 40 degrees outside, and I'm actually kind of getting hot. My, my toes. Let me see. see my toes? They're all cold still. What do you think, Gina? <laughs> it's so warm. It's so cold out there. <laughs> oh, 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 so warm. Oh, I just got hang out again. Ah, oh, you've ruined everything. Ah. So, oh, let me start to get in the sun here. So, I suppose that probably won't watch it, but if you're watching Slim Potato Head, I appreciate the offer. Not the offer, but the suggestion. This is really, really the greatest place ever. Thanks for letting me find it, or finding it for me. All right, so this water is actually continuously running in and out. It comes in right here, and it's really warm here. It's even hotter right there, so it feels even better. I don't know if you can kind of see the steam coming off. But then it just runs out continuously out there. It's coming from about 2,000 feet down into the earth. So it doesn't even stink. It smells good. And I don't even see a big uh, mineral traces on any of this, so it's not even like a high mineral content. Whoever uh, developed this and came out here and built the whole thing, I really salute them. That was a great idea. This is kind of the coolest thing in the middle of the Arizona desert. Except for me. 
Except for Gina. Yeah, I was going to say that it was in a desert. There's truth to that. Not a lot of truth, but some truth. Damn, guys. Damn. So what'd you think of the uh, the whole thing, Gina? It was very nice. Are you glad you came? Mm-hmm. Would you recommend it to other people? I would. It's... 10 out of 10? Yes. I'd recommend to a friend. <laughs> what's your favorite part? Uh, the hot tub. Or the hot springs. Uh, but I was really surprised by how well established the uh, campsites are. Mm -hmm. With picnic tables, garbage cans, bathrooms, fire pits that you can cook on. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Easily yeah, recommend. Dunes. I didn't even say it. There's little foot baths at the base of the hot tubs there. There's one thing I did forget to tell you. Right, Gina? Well, that we learned from the uh, couple that came down from Tahoe. And it makes sense when you think about it. But the, the tubs themselves, they kind of close at night because they're solar powered pumps. So once the sun goes down, it stops pumping the water up and it actually drains out the entire tub. So it's pretty brilliant. That way it's never stagnant gross water and it fills back up in the morning. So I think we got there just in time for it to be filled back up again because the sun had just come back up. That was my plan anyways. Yeah, of course. So I'm gonna leave you with a shot of Mount Graham that overlooks us. Because you don't really see Mount Graham like this very often. I need a cut cat. Do I have any more? False. There's a bag right there. Bye.